All right, welcome to my day 15 regression guide. So today our level has increased again. So as you see, I need almost a million experience just to reach level 48. And it's gonna be even more to fill up the 48 experience bar. So the first thing I would do is Mia's Kitchen, your bounties, then you can do your ruins. For today's ruins, we have access to E03 easy, and then we have access to C01 normal once you reach 48. Now for vitality, we're gonna have a little change right here. Of course, you wanna check your stargates. So you wanna look at this first category and see if you have two or more. Notice how that says nano coating two. But after that, I recommend that you start doing omnium beacons. There you see I got a purple one, I got another purple one. You still get the experience for using the vitality and you can save these and place these later for stronger rewards once you're higher level. But if you still need a lot of weapon upgrades, you can do dimensional trials if you're not able to find stargates. But remember, do difficulty three. And same thing for space-time domains if you really need money, but remember, difficulty third. Now for the story. You can start progressing the story since we need such a high amount of experience, but you could wait till tomorrow where we don't get a level increase just to make sure you don't level. Now let's talk about password chests. Now this is a type 2 password chest, and I recommend force deciphering all of these, including the blue ones. It just got announced that we're going to Vera soon, and I hear that once you get to Vera, these change and we can get some rare materials from them. But if you have to perfect decipher for like an event or a weekly, just use the blue ones. Then besides that, you can try to go and get some supply pods. But again, I think you should wait to see how much experience you need at the end of the day. Don't forget to get your gifts for the day. So you want to go to the black market and talk to Hopkins. You want to go to Cetus Island and do the claw machine. Then you want to do your two ability trainings. On top of that, you want to maintain your vehicle. Some of the best places are Astro Shelter, Bangi Shelter, the Black Market, and the best place, Hycros. On top of that, make sure you're getting elemental rocks for crystals. Now to quickly talk about the challenges, don't forget to do your Bygone Phantasm so that we can get the most rewards. Frontier Clash, I'm saving that one until I'm 50. Void Rifts, feel free to go ahead and do those. We're already at the max reward, so you might as well. Wormhole. It resets in 17 hours, so if you haven't at least done those extra 8 levels to get the energy crystal dust, I would go ahead and do those. A couple wormhole tips, and I can't take full credit for this. Oliver Ung and Mr. Psychopathy left some comments down, and I tested it out, and it worked. But essentially, one of the best ways to clear the wormhole is to first go around the map and look for buffs. There's usually two. I try to get one or two, depending on how my time is. Then you go around, kill all the medium bosses, and once you get to about 75%, you want to try to gather up two or more medium bosses, because if they're damaged, once the level ends, they all instantly die and you can collect buffs from there. Doing this strategy, I was able to go into the final boss with like a 12 stack buff and I had a couple 8 stack buffs, so I instantly defeated the boss. It was super easy. And then the last thing, Apex League, we have seven days for you to try to climb the rank. So if you're trying to get like that Gojo mask or you're trying to go Grand Marshal, you're starting to run out of time if you're not quite there. And now to quickly talk about the Summer Breeze event, don't forget to get your login rewards. Don't forget to kill your two bosses for the day. Remember, you can kill Lucia, Pofus, Frostbot, and Robark. And I went ahead and welled out on this machine, but I can tell you, it's terrible. It took me 80 rolls before I got the swimsuit. Then you want to do your daily buys. So you go to shop, hot, buy your two vitality solutions. That's if you can afford it. We've already seen what's coming up in the future. Check the commissary and take a look at the crystal dust store. You want to make sure you buy your advancement modules and your booster modules. Go to the crew store and buy the potent omnium crystals. Don't forget to do your daily donation and also do your crew store missions. And then the support store, you want to go ahead and buy your joint supply chips. And again, best places, Frontier Clash. Once you have no attempts, you can help people out, get 375 support points. You can do Void Rifts. Once you have no attempts, you can get 150 support points. Or you can do World Bosses, where you get 100 support points once you force decipher, and machine parts. Besides that, you can go achievement hunting, explore the map, or go mount farming. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If so, take a look at my day 14 video, but otherwise, talk to you guys later.